What's going on, everybody? Question. Why do women like thugs? Woo. Thugs. 110 pounds of meat. A man. I don't. I never understood it. Thugs, they don't fight. And the thugs I have seen, they fight like women. You can go out here and get you a, a, a nicer man that's not a thug, that's 10 times stronger than a thug, that's smarter, that has more money, that looks better. But you want to get a thug that has his pants hanging off his butt. And I'm not knocking anybody with the pants hanging off the butts because if you think about it, the thugs are not killing people. In reality, they're not. They they killing people, but they're not killing the masses. And what I meant, what I mean by that, is the people in the corporate world. It's the people that wear the suits and ties that are killing people by numbers. Not this street beef. You know, one on one. I see you in the club, and you know, and somebody fall to the floor and start shooting, and accidentally shoot somebody with their eyes closed. These people are killing you with their eyes open. So my thing is, why are women attracted to thugs? That's the main focus here. I need somebody to comment below and let me know because I'm still trying to figure this shit out. You hate thugs, but you get pregnant by them. You hate thugs, but you go to the same Project hood rat cracked out club and surround yourself with these savages. I never understood it. Why not go to a nice bar? You know, try to go to a, a nice club, you know, out of state. You know, go to a, you know, just a different club that has a different setting, not always a hood setting. With flash and lights. I've never been to a club, but I have seen, I've been inside a club, but it was in the daytime. I was moving some stuff in and helping somebody. And I seen I seen pictures on Facebook. People standing up. It looked like everybody crushed up together. And, you know, um, cigarette, weed, smoke, all now. That's a club? Why would I want to go up and... and why would I want to go to a club and stand up? I can stand up at home, man. But these are where these thugs are located. You know, this, this is their habitat. This is their natural environment. So, I'm still trying to figure it out. And like I said, it's a lot of good black women out here. And it's a lot of good white women. Um, And there's other races that actually like thugs. I, I don't understand. They can't fight. Is it the bad boy ways? Any guy could be a bad boy. You know? Now, women like thugs, but I think they're, they're more into, uh, they starting to realize, like, after they fourth or fifth baby by these guys, there is no hope for them, and, and it's not, you know? So I think women... They starting to change their ways and 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 their choices of men. They want men like the guy that play power. What's his name? Omar. I'm not for sure, but they want men like that, you know. And a guy and a guy with such brilliance is not going to get with a chick like you. A wise man want a wise woman. A wise man want want wants a clean woman. You know, you don't necessarily you don't necessarily have to attend college to get a good man you can have book sense it's a lot of smart people that's not even in college or that's that's not even um that's not even aware of what's going on all they do they just naturally smart they just read it's a lot of good people like that you know so but no man is going to want a woman with a lot of kids. We want a, a real person like me. We want to build a foundation. You know, we want to build an empire. If I have a kid, 
let's say if I have two or three boys, okay, I'm going to make sure that my my job is done. You know, as being a father, I'm going to make sure that my kids have everything, money, shoes, clothes, and um, a comfortable environment to go to school and everything. I'm not going to be this thugged out father that, that's teaching his son how to be a real gangster and and instill in his mind that that you know don't trust nobody don't trust these niggas you know and if you want there for me you know if you want there for me and when i get on i'm not gonna i'm not gonna give you nothing you know you see this shit on facebook you know oh who if you want there for me now don't expect to get some from me when i get on you know Nah, man, I'm teaching my kids that, that, you know, you stick together, you share with people, you share with each other first, and you pass down what I'm teaching you to my grand, my grandkids. I don't have grandkids, I'm just saying. But you pass down to what I'm teaching you to your kids, which will be my grandkids. That's how you build an empire. You pass down stuff. None of that thug stuff. All this thug, thuggalicious all this stuff was passed down from L.A. and, you know, stuff just changed over the years, man. It's 2016, and I can imagine what 2017 is going to bring us. But, hey, women, I don't understand why y'all like thugs. I'm not trying to jump off the subject here, but I'm not, I'm not following y'all for picking guys like this. I don't know if because... Is lack of fathers in home or y'all feel protected by a thug with a gun. But a gun is not going to always save a guy. You got to have them hands. Like I said, I'm not a thug guy, but I'm 6'2". I'm 215, sometimes 220 versus a thug guy that's 140 and 5'9". It's a big difference. You know what I'm saying? It's a big difference. So if you feel secure by a thug make sure that if you get a guy like this make sure that he has a gun because a real man is going to break him and and take his gun from him and make him eat that gun and you're going to be embarrassed embarrassed that your man is a punk but hey it's not about being a bad guy it's not about being the, the big wolf my question is why do y'all like thugs i'm waiting i haven't got a reply I'm about to close this video out. It's been eight minutes already. I know people don't watch videos past three minutes, but like I said, comment below. Why do y'all like thugs? These guys that impregnate women, four or five different baby mamas. They don't buy the kids no pampers. They club a club every weekend. Same club, been the same club with the guy they beefing with. They it's a shootout. Back in the club two weeks from now. Drug pushers, drug abusers. But hey, let me know what y'all think. Like, subscribe, and comment.